One department facing some of the biggest budget cuts is Health and Human Services. In particular, the Veterans Services Program. News 10's Whitney Clark has the details. Richard Elmore is one of about 500 veterans who gets help from the county every month. In the process of filing a claim, he's learned to be patient. It takes a long time to get a reaction from Washington or from Portland. Um, you've got to be patient. Vets like Elmore may soon need to be even more patient. This week, Jackson County leaders proposed cutting $150,000 from the county's Veterans Services Department. It was a decision no one wanted to make, but unavoidable. Veterans Services, one of the few county health programs not mandated by the state. Are they the right thing and should we be delivering them? Absolutely. Uh, but are we as a county mandated to provide them through a contract or a delegate authority? We're not at this time. While the county does not know yet exactly how the proposed cuts will affect vets, it could mean laying off staff and waiting weeks, even months, for appointments. It's, it's going to be painful. These painful cuts come as more veterans need help. In 2008, the office serving more than 3,000 vets. Last year, it helped about double that. The number of those in need always on the rise. With the war on terror winding down, we expect that number to increase. The Pentagon's talking about putting a million new veterans on the streets in the next five years. While Elmore suffers from PTSD and other issues, he's happy with his help. My advocate, who's been very helpful for me in the issues that I've had stemming from Vietnam, uh, have, been, have been very helpful. The people here continuing to be helpful and just a little more patient. Covering your news in Medford, Whitney Clark, News 10. None of the proposed cuts will be official until commissioners approve the budget in May or June as they continue to look for other sources of revenue.